Hey everybody, my name is Annika. I'm currently training to become a makeup artist. So I love all things makeup, wigs as well, beauty. It's all some of my favorite things. So feel free to subscribe if you want. So today I'm going to be showing you all of my MAC lip products. I have like 35 or so. Um, I have mostly bullet lipsticks. I have a one liquid lip and then I have some metallic glosses as well as maybe one or two lip glasses so yeah um i'm just gonna start lip swatching them i'm just gonna pull random ones out so you know what i'm just gonna start with my limited edition ones that i'm not gonna get rid of so this is from their like cherry blossom collection this one is called high fructis it's a matte lipstick and this is what it looks like. Please ignore my nails. I'm so sorry. They're chipping so bad. All right, I'm just going to apply this. Okay, so here is high fructose or fructose, I guess. So the fructose, I'm guessing. So yeah, this one is a very bright pink. Also, their matte lip formula is not my favorite. I prefer their cream sheen formula as well as their powder kiss formula if I'm going for a matte. But I'll get into those soon. So, my next limited edition one came out when the live action Aladdin movie came out. So, this one looks like this. And then this is the shade Raja. Of course, that's the one I got. This one is just like a really deep, pretty red. And this one is also a matte. I'm just going to apply this. Hi. <laughs> this is my face. All right, so that is my next limited edition one. I'm just going to throw these ones back in here. Now, this one I have so many fond memories with. This is the Nicki Minaj Pink Print Lipstick. Now, this one I definitely got in 2018. It is, like, literally just a nub at this point. But, yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm going to very gently try to apply this. Oh, wow. Why did I start with the bright pinks and stuff? So this is pink print. Um, at one point, this was my daily lipstick. And I actually wore this a lot during my pregnancy. I have a four-year-old daughter. <laughs> but I remember I had a very brutal pregnancy. And I would put this on just so I would feel better. <laughs> so actually, I remember I'm not too much of a big Nikki fan anymore because of some of the drama. Like, it's just so petty and stupid to me. But I still have, like, a special place in my heart for the Pink Print album. And, of course, Nikki because I remember when I was 16 and I first got my license, my sister and I would just drive around, listen to that album on repeat, find different roads we've never been down, and... We would like get lost and try to figure out our way back. It was so much fun. <laughs> I'm gonna try to skip any red ones for now. So actually, this is one that I love that's been discontinued. This is called Coral Bliss. I have a backup of this one. I might even have a second backup. And I'm just applying this with the monitor, so if it looks bad, I'm sorry, but I do love this color. It bleeds a little bit if you don't have a lip liner, but I was really bummed that they discontinued it. I still have not been able to find a perfect, like, pinky coral dupe. I I had, like, oh, yes, okay. So this is another limited edition one I have. This one, this one is a frost, which is, like, their shimmer formula. It has, like, usually has glitter, and it's usually kind of matte. Or like a satin, I guess. This one's called Noon Noir. This one is almost like a grayish 
silvery, like, I don't know, almost a purple. Uh-oh, it's starting to wobble. Okay. Okay, yep, my lip lines are messed up. I will reapply my foundation later. This one is definitely one I, do, I feel like I don't wear a lot. I really like it though, and I like the packaging. So, okay, these two are called the Love Me Lipsticks. I have two, oops, I have two of them. I have one here, and this purpley one. Now, I believe these are made with argan oil. Okay, so this one's called Tre Blase. And this one is like, ooh, I should wear this more. This one's like a pinky kind of nude color. Here's that one. I don't know. I think they still have the Love Me lipsticks, but I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then this one is called Pure Nonchalance. And this one, ooh, this one is rough looking. It's like lighter and then it has like some weird splotch. I don't know if I wore a different lipstick with it or what, but oh no. Hey, get down from there. My cat went up on the stove. This is more fuchsia than I remember. Though I wonder if that's because my lips are already stained since I just did not do this right. <laughs> but I like kind of like purpley colors on me because I prefer like if I'm not if I'm not wearing like some kind of a brownie nude or like a slightly pinky nude, um I usually like a purple lip or like a cool tone purple. I'll show you one of my favorites that MAC also discontinued in a second. The Love Me lipsticks are very hydrating and I think they're pretty nice. You'll just probably have to reapply them frequently, but beautiful formula. Then this one is super messed up. <laughs> so this one is called Pick Me, Pick Me, and it is another frost. It is like this shiny, like dark purple. It's much darker than it looked on camera. I'm going to try my best not to break it. It is breaking apart. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Actually, you know what? I think I can apply it if I just break it off. This one's very interesting. Okay. This is another one I do have a backup of. But this is the purple color I was mentioning. Now, this one, I was very sad to hear that my two favorite powder kiss lipsticks were discontinued. Ripened, which is this one. It is super messed up, but it's this color. It's kind of crumbly. Um, but I'm trying to put it on. There's ripened. It's a little more gray than it's appearing on camera, but I'm really bummed about this. I'm thankful I got a backup, but I only have one right now of reverence, and I'm so sad about it. So I have a couple more powder kisses here. This is reverence. This is my newest one and my only one. And I'm really sad that this is going to be my last one of that color ever. But I do plan on, if I'm able to get two lipsticks from MAC, I do want to get a couple different shades of the Powder Kiss line. They are just some of my favorite matte lipsticks. I prefer a matte lipstick. Um, I love the cream sheen though. I love like that creamy finish. It's also probably my second favorite. It all depends. Sometimes I want something more hydrating and sometimes I want something more matte. Lately I've been wanting something matte, but it sucks because it's like winter, so I've not been going for those. <laughs> but yeah, so the next shade I have, Mullet Over. Oops. This is Mullet Over. 
it's like a peach a darker peachy color these lipsticks are perfect for that blotted lip kind of look I like this one a lot in the fall because the fall is like one of the only times you'll ever catch me in something kind of orange and it's really pretty I just feel like orangey colors aren't my favorite so I prefer a pinky coral or a more brown nude but I think it's still pretty and then we have stay curious which is a little bit more on the I would say like an orangey red this one's really nice I went a little too low there but yeah I like this one as well okay now this is I think my last powder kiss lipstick because I have six but I'm pretty sure one is the old ripened that's falling apart and one is a newer ripened and yeah this is my darkest powder kiss this one I is one of my favorite reds that I own and it's called burning love my lips are gonna be so stained so yeah that is burning love I think it's a really pretty color this is so much darker than it looks in the camera though my lips are a little more red than they are supposed to be <laughs> okay so this is a luster this one i am definitely replacing this is definitely one of my oldest ones aloof is the shade I have a place in my heart for pinky colors, but they're really not my thing anymore. They used to be. And I still love a beautiful, like, neutral pink or a baby pink, but I find that sometimes lip colors like this aren't the best, but I love the Luster formula. It's also a very hydrating one, and it's quite sheer, I would say. At least this shade is, and I really like it. This is my other Coral Bliss one. So you can see it in action. I love this color and I'm so sad. This is like truly one of the most beautiful lipsticks on me. Oh yeah, here is a cream sheen. Um, this one, this one's like definitely going. This one is like all fucked up. Like if you look right here, it is so deformed. But this is dressed to thrill and it is a more bright pink. I apologize you can see my breakouts now I have breakouts all over like my face and my forehead <laughs> but that is just a thrill it kind of reminds me of a more tame version of Saint Germain I don't have that color anymore but I kind of want to get it <laughs> though I'm not sure if it's still there because I did see people on reddit asking about Saint Germain All right, I need to hurry this up. This is one I'm definitely getting rid of. I don't use this one a lot. It is too orange of a nude, but it is called Peach Stock. This is also a satin. I don't think it's like the ugliest color, but mm, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like it that much on me. This makeup wipe is so bad. Okay. This one is called Plum Dandy. This is another beautiful frost. It's like a plum with a gold kind of pearl to it. Okay, my camera's gonna die. This is Please Me. Okay, it's a different day now. <laughs> so this is a luster lipstick called sea sheer i think you're my husband or my four-year-old sorry about that <laughs> okay so i got this lipstick because samantha ravendall said it was one of her favorite sheer lipsticks i'm 
mean, it's really pretty. I don't normally go for colors like this, but this probably wouldn't be my first choice for this eye look. <laughs> but, I mean, I think it's described as like a grapefruit pink, and I don't have any other colors like this really, so I do like it. I'm going to save this one towards the end because this is amorous but and it's a satin and it's also a very deep red <laughs> so i have this weird cap i got this i think it was it was some kind of like a shiny lipstick but i lost the cap to this one so i've been using this <laughs> but this i got the same time as i got the shade peach stock because i was looking for nudes at the time and this is cherish Cherish is also a satin, and I like this one a lot more than Peach Stock. It's just a really pretty nude. It's a little bit deeper, which I don't mind. My wig is not having it. <laughs> um, it's very pretty. I would totally wear this lip with this look. Okay, so this one I am definitely getting rid of. I love this color. It is Fabby. It is a frost. And it's like this nude or neutral kind of pink, but I believe it has like gold shimmers in it. Super pretty. I really like this one. And I don't know if they still have this, but I would definitely repurchase that one. Okay, so this one is a matte. This is pink plaid. And this is one I've had a very long time. <laughs> I have this much left in there. I am definitely tossing this. I am not too much of a fan. It's a little bit too pink for me. And it's also too matte. <laughs> but it's pretty. I just, I, this one's just been around in my collection for probably like at least three, three to four years. So I don't need that anymore. <laughs> this is also a matte. This one is Please Me. Same kind of deal. I've worn this one. About the same amount. That's how much I have left. But yeah. The matte formula is just not for me. I get very chapped lips. Especially in New England. Try not to mess up my makeup too much. I'm going to see the new John Wick movie with my husband tonight. So that's going to be really fun. This is one of my favorites. This is Creme de Nude. It is a cream sheen. And this is relatively new. Um... This one is pretty much full, but it's pretty. It is a nice light nude for my fair skin tone. I'm almost getting to the end of the lipsticks. So this one is, um, I don't even know why I have this actually. But this is called Bosom Friend. Interesting name. I've had this one. Yeah, this one is like dirty. <laughs> so don't mind that. But this is so pale. I've used it to lighten shades that are too dark. Because it's so light. This is another one I am getting rid of. Like, it kind of looks like I just forgot to wipe concealer off my lips or something. <laughs> But that one I've also had since 2018. I remember there's like a couple orders I made uh, before my daughter was born. And my daughter is <laughs> four years old. So I know I need to get rid of these. Okay, we're going to save the two reds for last. Well, I guess there's actually three reds because I have this unopened one. But let's see. So, oh wait, this is Cosmo and it is a amplified cream which I like this formula a lot. This is also one of my most recent orders. So 
Um, it, I think it was described as like a raspberry color. I really do like it. I would probably wear this with like a neutral shimmery eye, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> So now we have Russian Red. This one I like think I put on one time. I got this in a boxy charm. This is their regular matte formula. Oh god, I already am gonna know I'm gonna regret this. I just I feel like it's so dry putting it on. Okay, I'm not gonna try to put it on too much. I don't want my lips to be stained all night. <laughs> but yeah, this is like too bright of a red for me. I prefer something like the next one I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna have to fix my foundation again. Um, okay, so this one is their satin formula. And this is amorous. It is beautiful. It's kind of more of like a deeper uh, purpley red, I would say. when my lips are so dry now Fuck. reds like this one or burning love look better on me yesterday when I took all these lipsticks off and I looked in the mirror it looked like my lips were swollen and I'm sure that's happening again right now <laughs> okay so let me show you um these are two ones, I'm just going to put them on, so these are, I've had for at least a year, so I know I'm not going to be using them on anyone else, but this is Costa Chic, or Costa Chic, and it is like a bright coral, and I got this because I was trying to see if it was similar to Coral Bliss. It's much better more pigmented I would say but I do like the color I just feel like I would want to wear it in the summer and yeah so I mean it's beautiful you just throw that back in packaging I feel like it's it's close enough I could probably shear it out a little bit and get a similar color Let's see how's my mouth looking <laughs> not that great and then this is Sweet Sakura. This is a cream sheen and it is red. So I, was, I got this because I was hoping it would be a better formula red. But it's also very bright. It's like that kind of like ladybug fire engine red. I don't think I've even put this on at all. Actually, I think I would like this one just more sheared out as well maybe with like a clear gloss on top and half this much lipstick <laughs> I do like it I think it's pretty and I like that it's the more moisturizing formula now I'm getting into my lip glosses so I have or the lip glasses I guess the name rubbed off this one but it's called cultured and then this one the sticker's gone, so I'll have to look back in my orders and see what color this is. Um, I'm just going to throw this one on. It's like a purpley color. These are very opaque also. Like Jesus. <laughs> That's crazy. I do like the lip glass formula a lot. I've gone through quite a few different colors. Um, I'll write the two favorite ones that I have. I don't have them right now, but I'll put them right here. I can't think of their names. But I do really like this cultured one as well. Now, I believe I'm missing one. I had like some kind of a coral colored one as well. So, no idea where that went. But this one I think is more shimmery. Not worn this in a while. They're very pretty. I don't know if they have these three anymore, but what are these called? The Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Color. 
but they're not, I don't think they're supposed to be liquid lipsticks. I think they're just like plumping glosses. At least they have like kind of a menthol to them. So let me start with this blue one. This is a lunar, lunar module. And I got these because they look so pretty in the pictures. Just kind of gives you like a shifty kind of effect. Actually, I can see myself wearing this. I'm going to start trying to wear these more often if I can. It does work with my look today. <laughs> the next one is called Party Sparkle. It's this baby pink one. It kind of has like, I guess, almost like a greenish kind of shift to it. I think... This is the one I've worn the most. I've worn it at least five or six different times. It's really pretty. The most wearable one I have. Oh yeah, I'm not getting rid of any of these because one, they're still full. I don't even know how to empty them, but I don't think you can get them anymore. So I'm just gonna hold on to them. Oh yeah, then this one is Electric Rainbow. This is the orangey one. It was kind of like a pink kind of a shift. Oh, kind of looking more like of a yellowy green. Wow. Well, that's not what I expected at all. I don't don't know if I've worn this in. Actually, I've had this one since or these three since 2019. So I probably have not worn them since then. This is not good with my look, but. I kind of enjoyed the contrast. <laughs> Looks really pretty. I would definitely wear that. Alright, so the last two things I have are... I got this Prep and Prime Lip Primer. And it's almost empty, so this is definitely going away. But I bought, or I bought a, some lipsticks and then this came as like a Mother's Day gift. And it came in this like lipstick kind of too but I'm putting this on because I'm going to show you my liquid lipstick and oh my god my lips needed this I do plan on picking this up again I usually just use some kind of a lip balm for lipstick but I really do find that this helps with the bleeding um, especially if it's more of a light color and I really enjoyed this a lot with my coral bliss lipstick that is a little bit sometimes it you kind of see the lip lines or like the cracks in your lips with that one but this helps you know keep that from happening okay so i need to pull out my phone for this this is so me it's very pretty Okay, that's about as good as we're going to get with me using my phone camera for this. I love this color, especially in the fall. Though, I might try and fix this and wear it for the rest of the day. I'm not sure. But yeah, so if that's like 37 or 38 different MAC lip products, I am missing two, pro two of my lipsticks or like I'm missing one of my lip glasses and one of my lipsticks though the lipstick I'm missing was like this very light lavender color almost a white I still don't even know why I had it but just know it would have looked really bad <laughs> so you're not missing out on anything but all right thank you guys for watching have a good one bye hey guys by the way I was able to turn in 13 empties I bought the shade Impulsive on the left, Teddy 2.0 on the right, both powder kiss formula, and then the lady was so cool, she let me get a third one. <laughs> so I got the shade Feroche, also in the powder kiss liquid lipstick formula, which I never tried, but I got it because it looks so similar to the shade Ripened that had been discontinued, and I'm so happy I found that. I was able to snag the last one. I also grabbed a MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Hey Coral Hey, and then I got some 
Coconut Fix Plus. So yeah, there's my little haul. I went the day before Back to Mac ended. I hope everyone was able to grab some stuff. But yeah, all right, bye.